Hi there folks, welcome to the Willis Gym Show. Yes, unfortunately at some point you're going to have to start squatting. And if you weren't raised squatting, um, you're going to have to start um, building some muscles using some weights to create the resistance that's necessary. If you're someone who's already been squatting since you were a kid, Asian, African, and you go down and up a thousand times a day, this is not for you. This is for people who have never squatted, who sit in chairs, and who can't even imagine dropping down just like that. In order to get there, because here's the deal, you can totally get there. No matter where you're at, you can be in a squat if you take steps to strengthen and do the leg draining. I would not at all attempt to do any squats unless you're doing some of the gravity leg draining and have got those drains open and are familiar with them because then you're going to know how to deal with any pain that crops up from compressing these particular muscle groups and driving any gas bubbles and what have you into those joints. So don't go here until you've already taken some of my program and run with it and this is an add-in. This is not something to start with. Highly recommend that you get your draining in. Every time you do squats, do some leg draining. Before, after, and a little bit of heat, have it on hand. Um, if you get any little issues or any areas that start popping because this will be of huge help to keep you from getting sore. But just starting out, the squat we're going to start with is the goblet squat. For that you're going to need a dumbbell, probably something light, maybe about 5 pounds. I've got 12 pounds here. doesn't really matter for this. We want a little bit of weight because it kind of makes you top heavy, but we're not looking to kill you. This is just about getting some form established for squats. And what we're looking to do is just get some movement in this whole array down here. And if you're really stiff, you might be able to accomplish something along the lines of this. And that's going to be fine, because as long as you've got a weight here, and you're holding it up like this, and you want to pull outwards, you're going to grip the dumbbell just a little bit to pull outwards, so that your upper body's nice and engaged, and everything's online, this is a full body exercise, and then you're going to make sure you count on the way up. So you're going to breathe in, and one, and two, and three, and four, just like that. And you can do 12, 10, and 8. You could do three sets of 10, but you're going to want to set the numeric goal for yourself, as we've talked about. But here's the deal. That, in itself, is going to be more than most people do all day long. And... If you do this in front of a couch or a bench like I've got right here, if when you're first starting out and you want to start taking it a little bit lower, there's going to become a point when you want to push yourself a little bit. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go like this and have a couch or something in front of you just in case you can't come back up. You just put the dumbbell down like that. So very safe, very easy way to start practicing squats getting some repetitions, and getting these pumps working. Do this with the gravity leg draining. You're going to be amazed at how much lower you can go pretty quickly. So if you have been doing the military press, and you are also familiar with perhaps putting the bar on your shoulders for calf raises, then you might skip this step. You might experiment with this and build up a little strength and flexibility in your lower body. But then you want to advance to this because this is where we get into that whole adrenaline thing of, oh no, I could fall over. But if you don't go really heavy, the default position is just to sort of stand there and catch your breath until you can take it up off of your shoulders again. And again, working the legs separately and you catch the weight on the way down, it's totally safe. But it's like no machine that could ever work your legs. This leg press over here can't come close to squats. So again, barbell, free weights, got to do it, and this is the deal. It's all the way up in one fell swoop, just like this, like we do for military press. And you don't have to go all the way up and then down. You can just go, and if you just bend your knees a little bit and sort of hop a little bit, and of course you're going to want to start with like the bare bar, get the practice, get the rhythm, and then add a little bit and a little bit more. But here's the deal. Once you've got this barbell here, then you're starting to do this whole teeter-totter thing 
and all kinds of little stabilizer muscles come into play. So a couple of things to keep in mind when you start doing the barbell squats, which will probably look one and two and three. You don't have to go all the way down. It's when you, if you're accomplishing, you're dropping all the way down, that's fine. At some point, you might end up getting a little bit more horizontal and what have you. But once you got the barbell up here, you're going to see you don't really need to go that low. We're just looking to get some pumps in, count the repetitions, and see what happens if you do this on a regular basis. This is the other thing. Nothing's going to happen with one set. But again, a couple of pointers. One thing is to always breathe on the way up, which is solved if you just count the number on the way up. One and two, just like that. You want to pull down on the bar just a little bit, just bring it into you a little bit, and notice that it's back on my muscles and it's not up on my neck. That's very uncomfortable. So again, start light and make sure you're happy with that. But when you do come up, if you pull down just ever so slightly, one, just brings everything online. And if you start it with the goblet squats, it's the same type of activate the upper body, keep you nice and rigid, and keep you from slouching forward that you get from pulling out on the, the dumbbell. So when you're finished, there's a little hop from here. Pause, always catch it, be safe. Catch it, be safe. And then down on the ground. So you gotta do some weighted squats. If you're not already squatting as part of your natural lifestyle, this is gonna be big in getting these muscles going, getting these pumps going, but start really light do the gravity leg draining. I recommend putting the roller on, making sure that you're aware of these drains and know how to get rid of the pain if it crops up. Because if you get pain from doing squats, it's about jamming grease into these drains and the little air bubble compression type thing that happens that like we've talked about. So be on top of that, be ahead of it, keep things nice and loose do lots of this type of draining throughout, and you won't get sore, you'll start building muscles, and in no time, you're gonna be down here like this, doing gardening, cleaning under things that you didn't even know were dirty, and then your lifestyle starts doing your squats for you. And the more times you squat during the day, throughout your life, the less of this stuff you have to do, just so you know. All right, well, thanks for watching. There'll be more. Thanks.